hey guys welcome back to my channel for yet another video if you're new here hello my name is gail and welcome welcome to today's um you know episode <laughs> or whatever so today's topic i'm going to talk about you know asking in doubt like what the lord says about asking in doubt and the message of the day is sponsored by james chapter one verse um I'll just start from verse 5 to um, 8, I guess. Yeah, so <laughs> let's get right into it. Um, so it says, but if any of you lacks wisdom, he should ask God who gives to all generously and ungrudgingly, and he will be given it. But he should ask in faith, not doubting. For the one who doubts is like a wave of the sea that is driven and tossed about by the wind. For that person must not um, suppose that he will receive anything from the Lord, since he is a man of two minds, unstable in all his ways. Um, so in this verse, James is referring to wisdom, but like obviously it doesn't apply to wisdom only, you know, like it applies to a lot of things in life like whatever it is that you're asking the lord for you're supposed to believe that you know the lord is gonna grant you because <clears throat> if you have if you're double-minded basically like you ask for something and yet you don't believe that you're gonna get that <clears throat> excuse me you ask for something <laughs> just give me a second as I was saying, like when you're double-minded, that means that you ask the Lord for something and yet you don't even believe that that thing will be made possible for you, you know. And um, James calls that being unstable, you know. Yeah, like you have two minds, so you're unstable, you know, and the Lord doesn't like that. The Lord wants you to be in him fully and not be in him and in other things or in something else you know so he says that um um if you ask and you doubt whether it's gonna happen or not like you're not gonna receive anything from the lord <laughs> because the lord doesn't want to faced people in his presence you know the same way <coughs> in your day-to-day -day life when you have someone that is two-faced in your life one moment they like you another moment they don't like you you know like you're gonna cut that person off you know like you're not gonna entertain any of you know their whatever they got going on <laughs> you know you're gonna actually remove yourself or you're gonna like push them away or whatever you want to call it you know so it's the same thing with the lord like the lord doesn't want you to be hot and cold with him like you gotta make up your mind like where do you stand do you believe in the lord or you know you believe in yourself and all that you can do and all that you own and all you know yada 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 <laughs> so um don't be unstable like that's the message of the day because i know most of us don't read the bible and obviously in this channel like when i come across something that i feel like is important and i need to let you all know i'm gonna let you all know <laughs> you know so it's up to you to like follow it up by yourself and like get to read for yourself and understand like you know like in your own at your own time at your own pace you know because sometimes as i told you guys like yes i'm here informing you guys about things but follow up by yourself you know that's why i told you you seek the lord by yourself you know as much as yes i'm here steering planting seeds because yeah this is known as planting seeds because when you plant a seed in a person then it's up to that person to water that seed or let it die <laughs> you know like that's Ovi, um, yeah, 
basically i think that's what i wanted to share today like asking in doubt will make you not receive what you want you know like just stay focused and i know it's gonna take work to be able to get to that place where you know you trust the lord fully because the devil is gonna try to play with you you know and the devil feeds off of feeds off our emotions our feelings like our thoughts you know so you gotta like fight to be strong in the lord you gotta fight to um maintain that trust in the lord you know because the devil will try his hardest to make you um be double-minded you know the same thing he did to eve in the garden of eden you know like eve trusted the lord fully and was telling the devil like you know the lord has forbid us to like i don't know it's forbid our word or forbidden <laughs> yeah whatever you get the gist like he's told us not to eat from this tree but the devil was like you know are you sure that that was the lord who told you this you know now he's planting doubt he was planting doubt actually he planted doubt in eve's mind making eve fall short you know because of that so you're supposed to actually pray hard against the schemes of the devil and fight 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 every single day to um follow the lord's like believe in the lord's promises in his words in his like everything he tells us and promises us just believe that it's gonna happen for you you know because we serve a sovereign god we serve a god whose mercy endures forever he does not change you know he's the same today tomorrow yesterday <laughs> whatever day so as much as it might get tough in life and like some things might cause you to like have um you know second thoughts just recollect yourself and like in these moments just dive deep into the word and be like you know like don't let the devil lead you astray or sway you from um the path of the lord all right because it has consequences <laughs> you know after all the bible says that with faith it's impossible to please the lord so if you ask and you don't have faith all that you're doing is in vain you know so let's all strive to like you know please the lord <laughs> yeah so that's the message of the day um you guys take care and i'll catch you in my next video so ciao